Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, back with another video and uh, this is an, one of those exciting videos uh, where you can actually see something is being done uh, using software defined radio and just wanted to show you the beautiful power of software defined radio when you're trying to perform signal analysis and things like that, signal detection, signal visualization, things like that. Uh, right now I have my hack RF which is connected to my laptop and I am running Dragon OS Focal. Uh, through my live USB drive. Uh, why I use Dragon OS Focal, I've been mentioning it in just, about, in just about every other video of mine that deals with Dragon OS Focal. It is the, probably the best distribution when you want to experiment with uh, software-defined radios because everything comes pre-compiled. All the tools which are there, it comes pre-compiled. And this is where you'll find all the tools. If you go to others, you'll find all the tools. In order for you to actually download these tools, go to their GitHub, try to compile it, there's always going to be a repository issues. Uh, this is at least happens to me. But this thing is just perfect. I mean, I, when I looked at this distribution, it looks like this thing was designed for for a person who wants to do like SDRs and things like that. Amazing distribution. All you need to do is just go ahead and look up the tool, work on it, and 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 this this distribution gets the job done. But the tool I'm about to introduce or I'm, or I'm about to enhance on it is about Sparrow Wi-Fi. An amazing tool. Make sure you have your hack RF connected to it. So Sparrow Wi-Fi, just simply go there, go to other tab, and then just simply run this. You will get a, a, a terminal like this. Uh, okay, just ls it. All right. Now, when you look at it, uh, this thing is designed to work with Ubertooth One, which is actually your uh, uh, Ubertooth One is another tool which was designed by Great Scott Gadgets. Uh, but I'm using HackRF, so I, I'll have that. There are a lot of tools which you can use, a lot of Python script which are there. So probably this one, SparrowBlueTooth.py. I tried to use it. It only works with Ubuntu. Uh, another uh, sub gigahertz software-defined radio type platform or a platform that works only with 2.4 gigahertz frequency. Then you have a spare drone and things like that. The tool that I'm about to show you is actually two things. Two Python scripts which are built in. One is Sparrow Hack RF.py and Sparrow Tag Wi Fi.py. All right, let me just quickly run this tool and I'll show you what happens. So just simply type in sudo uh, Python Sparrow and then we're going to do because I'm using Hack RF.py. Now, what this would do, it will scan the frequencies and it will give you their possibly their signal strength. Uh, it will list the frequencies and it will also give you the signal strength of this. This is not something that, I mean, uh, I mean, it's not like GUI in oriented, but I'll show you another one, uh, which is there and where you can simultaneously use your Ethernet card as well or your Wi-Fi card as well to detect signals. And also, you can also use Hack RF to also do that. So probably this is what it is. So you'll get a graph like this. It doesn't do anything else. It just scans frequency and gives you the strength. All right, this is the first thing. Let me just clear my spectrum, uh, clear my terminal. Now let's just go to ls and go to sparrow uh, hyphen wifi dot pi. So just simply go to sudo sparrow wifi dot pi. Now, this will give you this GUI interface. Let me walk you through with this GUI interface. All right. So you can do a simple scan. So this simple scan does not require anything. All right. What this will do, let me try to. This will just scan the frequencies. All right. And it will give you the MAC addresses of all the devices which are running and the SSIDs and things like that. And I'm just trying to hide this MAC address. And what kind of a privacy, what channels are available, what frequency, what is the signal strength, when this was last seen, and so on and so forth. And you will see a similar graph of this uh, like this. So you have a 2.4 gigahertz. You, it will tell you what type of an SSID, what is it that running. So this is another one. And then you only have one 
uh, operating at a 5 gigahertz band that is at 5745 5, megahertz and channel number 149 all right so so you'll get this basic information regarding this now i also have my headphones connected to it which is connected to a different laptop it's actually an ear stick by nothing so i'm going to also show you that as well just give me a second so while this is scanning through your local interface you can go to spectrum and then you can look at the spectrum via hack rf or via uh, via hack rf or via uber two so i have my hack rf connected to it i'm going to choose a spectrum at 2.4 gigahertz now you should notice what happens here so whatever the graph that you're seeing this is being scanned by the network interface card which is installed on your laptop or whatever your pc when i select this now all of this what you are looking at you're looking at see these this white spectrum this is actually due to your uh, uh this is being captured by your hack rf in my case it's hack rf now you cannot simultaneously look at both of them but you can go to spectrum again turn this off and if you just want to visualize only a 5 gigahertz band you should only expect to see activities over at this side because at this particular channel the uh, wi-fi 5 gigahertz is operating at so if i were to choose this here this is where the main thing is happening at this particular uh, band which is like 5745 frequency and 145 megahertz uh, 145 channel number 149 so these are a couple of things that you can look at it because um, there's only one router which is operating at this point so you can let me just look at 2.4 gigahertz as well will i be able to do that i won't be able to do it i'm sorry i have chosen the wrong one let me turn this off let me turn this off and let me choose this so this is where a lot of things is happening so for example you can also use this so i'm going to turn this spectrum off and let me just turn this off and then you go to falcon and then you can go to advance and let's say do i want to choose this you can also do scan as well i don't think so i'll be able to do that let me just do that anyhow create And let's see what can I get will I be able to okay so now you can get like separately the device what are some of the client stations which are being associated with that these are some of the client stations which are associated with that and these are different station these what access point is being used so this at this access point just simply hide this because I just don't want to show you so with associated with this ap there are three clients which are associated with them as per their mac addresses and so on and so forth so there's a lot of information you can get out what type of security there is if it's an open what channel they are on what frequency what signal strength and so on and so forth so you can also do that you can also find the client information as well and then based on that you can do an attack or something like that all right so let me just simply close this and let me go to spectrum and i'll show you something else too so let's leave this thing running and then let's do a bluetooth discovery all right let me show you this as well so go to bluetooth discovery and you are only interested in le which is an advertisement so let me just simply scan this this will also start scanning all the bluetooth devices which are also present in the vicinity. So right now I have my other laptop, which is running in the background and I'm wearing my air stick and you can also see the name of it as well. So right here. So I also have my laptop, which is also running. So this is there. And then you can also see there are different uh, Mac addresses. And this is my ear stick actually, which is connected. And the range estimate range, I don't know. I'm I'm not. This range is not probably the right number because I'm very close to it. 
but you can simply see that how much power is being transmitted. It's a Bluetooth, BTLE, and let's see who's, if it says the manufacturer, no. But I know for sure this is my air stick that is connected to it. Uh, I'm always confused when I'm working. There we go. So this is my ear stick right here. This is connected to my another laptop, which I have it uh, on my ear. So so you can also map it. You can also export this data as well uh, onto a map, or you can also save it in a form of a CSV file and things like that. Uh, so there's a lot of things you can do with this. Uh, you can do a hunt. So, for example, if you want to hunt, let's say what channel you want to hunt, let's say you want to hunt channel 11, you can also perform hunting as well. You can also perform normal scan, and you can perform 2.4 gigahertz, and so on and so forth. So, this is an amazing tool. You can also find out uh, what clients are connected to a particular um, uh, AP access point what SSID they're using, what type of devices are there, what channel is there, what type of signal strength is there, what's the utilization and things like that. So I hope you find this video to be helpful. Um, you can either use it with your Ubertooth or you can use it with HackRF. Or definitely not RTL SDR dongle because it does not have that range because that range is only up till 1800 megahertz, all the way up to from 50, it depends on what type of an RTL SDR dongle that you're using but generally from 50 megahertz all the way up to 1800 megahertz. So I hope you find this video to be helpful and a spare Wi-Fi analyzer. Thanks for watching. And if you guys have any questions, just leave it in the comment section. And please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And thanks for watching.